All right, let's talk about- <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> we gonna talk about the werewolves? Let's talk about the werewolves. Let's talk about what could possibly be going on with the fallout from the Ohio- It's an attack on America, dude. No, I tell you, okay? All of these motherfuckers were built around the same time. So then they're withering away at the same time. Are they really built around the same time? No, but then my Land Cruiser, <laughs> I had to get- Don't look into it. I had to get the transmission changed. And then the mechanic told me, oh, that's been kind of happening because they're all built around the same three, five years. Oh. So all of that model around that time, that's right. So you're, of us. you're applying your Land Cruiser <laughs> mechanics theory to the whole railroad <laughs> Oh, well, right. Anecdotal medicine, bro. Uh, got it. All right, we got that theory. Because the Chinese built the railroads all at the same time. And they're trying to destroy us from the inside. Oh, so they basically like built it to be like a ticking time bomb? The ancient? Oh, like the Death Star? Yep. Do you ever watch that they movie? They made one. Shanghai Noon? It was a marvelous historical piece. <laughs> it's great. Right? John Wayne. Uh, I like you're no, my history Jackie teacher. <laughs> no, he calls himself John... Oh, well, yeah, anyways. John. Oh, John... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> John Wayne. Yeah, my name is John Wayne. Okay. Um, <laughs> that historical film taught us that Chinese play such a long game, they're like, first we are going to build a railroad in America. Ooh, they sound so menacing. Right? Well, well, and then a well, hundred well. years later, we're gonna go and plan the obsolation. So when they built it, they had a little screw loose. And they're like, <laughs> they said, hundred years from now, it's going to break. And then the guy's like, Mr. Wei, where are we going to attack? And he's like, Ohio. <laughs> Dude, hundred years from now. <laughs> I'm not even alive anymore to reap the benefits. Dude, that's 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 the China long, long game. game. Dude, their game is so long. It's long, dude. That's why their name is long. Yeah. Because we played a long game, bitch. No joke. Trippity trippity cheese. There's a uh, there's a Chinese oh, billion. Glasses are off. It's no joke time. No yeah. joke. There's a Chinese <laughs> The character's over. There's a Chinese billionaire. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And he seek he's seeking asylum in the U.S. of A. And he's like, you guys don't fucking know, dude. China plans shit out for like hundreds of years ahead. While you guys are fighting over here, like Republican Democrat shit, and trying to like, you only plan five years ahead here. He goes, but over there, they're like, they're gonna dominate, and you better watch out. And I'm just trying to live my life here in the U.S. because they're gonna fucking control. They've been everything. planning this balloon tap for 40 years. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think is a reason for all of the uh, lack of addressing? Can you catch the classroom up uh, with like uh, all yeah. the variables yeah, where, real quick? Like, where? Are, yeah. There are a bunch of different states. The timeline of these railroads. Ohio. Right. Let the the informative right, man so do it. I want to guess. Dude. Okay, fine. We have the East Palestine uh, rail train derailment in Ohio. Mm -hmm. East Palestine. And then, that means uh, good morning in Japanese. Ohio. Ohio. Oh, yeah. like Palestine? <laughs> All right, anyways. That's the name of it. I mean, East Palestine, Steen, I don't know how they say it locally. But, uh, so the train derails, a bunch of toxic chemicals were on this train. So crazy. The uh, authorities decided to, rather than rush in and clean it up, they should just let it burn out. So it caused this massive toxic cloud over the town. All the people in the town were instructed to leave or be arrested. Journalists who came to cover the crash were also told to leave or be arrested. What? They didn't want anybody leave looking into nothing. They were arrested. like, nah. It's Why do trains just have toxic chemicals just chilling in their tanker? I think train is probably the only way you can transport toxic chemicals, right? Which is why they got those giant black tankers that have yeah. the fucking poisonous shit on the oh, outside yeah, of it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see those on the way to Vegas sometimes. Yeah, yeah, but whenever I think of toxic ooze, I think Ninja Turtles. Yeah. So I'm like, TGRI. What is the purpose? Yeah, what do the they TGRI use this guy. for? You know, are they making like... Or is it just waste? Yeah, I what mean, is it for? Tokar and Razor? Again, like I don't really know what the application... I mean, I'm sure there's a million different uses. So, so this one happens in East Palestine, Ohio. When was this? Uh, Two weeks ago? A week ago. Well, eight months ago, <laughs> judging by this upload. Nice. <laughs> Thanks for following us. Join our Patreon. <laughs> but then, are these other places that the train derailments are happening at, are they also toxic chemicals? Yeah, what was the next one? There was another one. What was it like feathers know. or something? What's this happening? None of the other, I don't think any of the other derailments that oh, no. happened. This one's confetti. <laughs> no toxic chemicals were released. But it derailed. 
Yeah. So the train, I mean, the Amtrak shit, like, our trains look old, though, bro. That shit looks like it needs a little bit of an update, you know? So you don't see any foul play in any of this? You know, the Chinese well, stories? what other sta uh, states are ha this happening? Uh, I have to look it all up. The common denominator to me is they're in white people's states. Wow. Isn't that uh, all of them? Most and of them. Then also, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then also, it's like, is this one of those things that we're just like, we don't normally pay attention to train de derailment, so uh, because it's heightened by this, like, obviously fuck up oil or, or, or chemical ones that now everybody's paying attention. We're like, oh, there's train derailments everywhere. Yeah. Or is this like, be. you know what I mean? Remember when it's like, dude, COVID's got like 2 million people. Nobody's got the flu that year. Next year, it's like, yo, the flu's back with 2 million people. Yeah. Nobody's got COVID. Like a confirmation bias? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Other ones, Southeast Michigan and Arizona. Wow. Oh, they're so, all random. Yeah. No, they're white people states. But they are <laughs> all Norfolk Southern train company. So one oh, train oh. company. So it's them fucking up. No, dude, there's only like one train company anyway. Oh, that's true. There's like less than three. That's true, yeah. Maybe they're just being mismanaged. Is it like an insurance thing, you know what I mean? Like the oh, Titanic conspiracy? Oh. I heard, I was reading something about how I guess they weren't getting enough inspections on these trains because they then, pour yeah or they're just like yeah whatever you know just typical business as usual and then because of that all these issues are starting to happen like the loose screw from the chinese guy these are, all, these are all within the span of two weeks by the way that's what which is also crazy in la the trains that were getting robbed too yeah oh yeah well, all the amazon packages yeah, on the yeah. ground i could see that from my place i lost some shit in that oh. holy yeah. shit because like you know you remember where like the train passes by the freaking gym yeah so like uh our neighbors at the brewery that are higher up on the building, they film, they post it on the, um, on the brewery page. They could just film people jumping over the wall into, into UPS. And just straight jack. And then just jack and everything. And they just throw, they throw all the packages over the wall and then they climb back over and they just leave. Nobody comes running, no alarm goes off, no nothing. And then right along outside of that wall is the train yard where all of the uh, shipping containers pause to be like transferred. Yeah, yeah. And you could, that same wall that they're jumping over, you can just go in there too. And then they just like crowbar open a door. Sometimes it's not even closed. You can see it. That some wow. of these things are just open. Yeah. Well, yeah, some of them you can just stow away and ride. Yeah. Because they're not fully closed. Right. Damn. And they could be sitting there for however long, but then, yeah, there's so many videos of that on our brewery page for like, for all the residents to be like, hey, does anyone want to do anything about this? Like, maybe like, he's like, I've submitted every one of these videos to the cops. They don't, they can't do anything. Man, I remember cops would hassle your ass if you go down there and try to paint on it. <laughs> yeah, if you're painting on it, for some reason, that's worse. <laughs> but they're not even stealing packages from train cars. They're stealing Remember, whole wood we, pallets. We were doing um, wow. photos. Yeah. We were doing photos at the train yard near his house. Oh, then, yeah, yeah, And then yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the there's specific uh, LAPD or sheriff or whatever yeah. just for the trains. That's why I think it's like a pay grade thing. It's like if somebody was, let's say, let's say I'm in there taking, like, or doing TikToks. Like, a guard is going to be like, I can handle that. But if I'm like, if I'm with five other dudes and we're throwing all these packages over, I could see him going, that's not my problem. But no, you because know, like, <laughs> it's the police. Yeah. Like there's train police. Yeah, yeah but they're not even gonna, they're not responding to uh, it. It's so weird. Like there's a whole like, you know, like you see on a, a whole train car, it's just stacks and stacks of two by fours or like wood. Yeah. Dudes are walking out with that. Wow. They're, they're as a just team. Stealing lumber? Loading into a pickup. Wow. Just whole like. Cause then, you know, all you'd have to do is just cut the ties or whatever. And then you can just like hand it to the next guy. And it looks like a construction site, but it's just a stop train. Wow. It's trippy, dude. Damn. Yeah. So is the anomaly, uh, back to all these train derailments, the fact that it happened in a short period of time uh, and the only real, real what the fuck's going on is the one that has like chemical warfare going on and like that's acid rain. Thing. Yeah, that's the big thing. And there was even- a uh, big addressing it and yeah. we're sending money to other countries for help, but then no one's I rushing. I've never yeah. has no one's, spoken on it. No one's rushing to send billions of dollars there to help. And and nobody is getting assistance. So all the people there are, they're, dying. they're on their own. And even weirder, like this just happened the other day. There was a report of uh, of one of the residents there, right? They got a person that's there to test whether or not their residence is under toxicity. The person said, I can't come into your home and test unless you sign this. Hands her a paper with um, what's, there's something at the bottom that says, no matter what, we are not responsible. Wow. Like, yeah, so she has to be able to waive their responsibility in order for them to even help. Wow. 
So that, what the fuck is that? And then so they, she took a photo of that. They were like, you can't keep this paper. She was like, can I take a picture? She takes a picture of it. Uh, news comes in, she shows the news. The company responds and says, oh, that was the wrong sheet of paper, sorry. What? We meant to give you this one. Yeah. Don't tell nobody. How crazy is that? Oh, so it's just a bunch of bullshit. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, so it's like, a, it's, it's basically what happens when an oil spill happens. It's almost the same thing. Wow. Oil spill happens, you either don't hear about it, and when you do, the repercussions are it's so minute. Yeah. yeah, it's very hush hush. Wow. And most of the effort to- So no one's gonna pay for this. This is gonna be some Aaron Brockovich shit though because like in a generation, there's gonna be a class action lawsuit because nobody can fix it now, but until yeah. you see like, oh my kid's got 16 fingers. So for the- That's end, American Chernobyl. So yeah. for, the, for the companies, they're just like, okay, let's sweep this under the rug. Let's keep this as hush And hush let's let our children deal with it later. It's yeah. the same thing as getting the vaccine and, then, and there being a clause that says you can't sue if you have any like- Issues. If you die from the vaccines. In, like, yeah. that's crazy. Yeah. You don't even know what you're putting in yourself. But yeah. then like in this same thing, they're like, hey, yeah, we want to start the efforts to like help you. But first, first, it's it ain't on us. Yeah. Wow. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this sounds like a Stranger Things episode. It's, uh, like it started, this is the toxic way started the mutiny. There's footage of like creek water where they like, if you stir it up, it starts to look like gasoline. Oh, that? I see that. Yeah. That lady throws something in yeah, the river and, it and it's splashing. It. Yeah. Whoa. It looks, yeah. Like, it looks like a glow stick. She should be like, out of there. <laughs> well, yeah, that's... Dude, of these there. poor people that live there and have homes there, home. But they're not getting what? any help, too, yeah, like, to dude. fully uproot your life and try to... Does Flint have clean water still at all? Probably, Probably not. not. I wonder how long it'll take for, like, nature to heal all that shit. Didn't Elon do something about that? Because it's, it's another one of those issues that you yeah. would hear all the time about, but then you don't know. If it the, ever the and then there was yeah. that one guy who developed uh, like that evaporator thing. Yeah, the right. Clean water yeah, thing. he made like a clean water machine for the public, and he put it out there, and anyone could just get water they whenever they want. It. And someone fucked it up. Somebody got in the guts of it and vandalized it and destroyed Pretty it. Pretty good prank. Why? Because they thought it was funny. No, that's the thing. It's like he thinks it's like some kind of governmental thing that was like, no, we want people paying for water. We don't want this. Cause right. who would, who would just do that? Don't, like, don't, right, right. Who Let's would just like fuck up the solution yeah. so we can keep the problem. Like who would fuck up solution. a free thing that also benefits everybody in the area? Unless like- Nestle was doing that to poor countries. Oh, Nestle's they would the take their water yes. supply. They would buy all the water supplies yeah. and then sell back the water to yeah. the community that was getting it for free. They're like buying river routes and just being like, oh, just, you, did you want, did you need that? Yeah. That's <laughs> fucking gangster, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> it's like that old film where the 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 that one guy controls all the the water and then like the people that are going through the Mad Max Chinatown? Mad Max they do that. And they I think the the that, OG yeah. one it was like a it was like the it was like a, a western. And then everyone copied it. And then the, there was even an animated one that copied it. It was the Five the, Goes West, the American Tale. <laughs> No, I'm serious. They, they fucking, they stopped the water route. Anyways, oh, now we're just getting into a fucking cartoon. I'm not I gonna fight this. Is.